tons of big breaking news. I've been warning you guys for months and months, and especially the past month, I've been hitting it hard. You need to get off the grid. You need to have some kind of alternative energy source because they are warning us that something big is happening. And now we are getting even bigger and more devastating warnings that things are happening right now. Microsoft is warning that hackers are actively inside US infrastructure and targeting it right now. And they've just discovered it, okay? And we have over 50 US senators, all of them were offered 100 US senators and over 50 have accepted satellite phones for major disruptive events, all right? They are getting us prepared for something big and that's why I've been hitting this stuff hard, all right? And that's why I've been hitting hard. You need to get a generator. You need to have some kind of solar, some kind of battery system, some kind of alternative energy source because we could see hits on the grid coming very soon, all right? We just got our water tank back here, okay? I got it in the back of my truck, big 200 gallon water tank to fill up and to refill, to water the plants, all these things, all right? These things are becoming more and more important and you need to have alternatives, okay? We are working on getting a well in the next couple months, but right now we're just working off water tanks and there is a very local water fill-up station, all right? A community fill-up station that everyone uses around here because a lot of people are off-grid, all right? So start finding these places, start finding these alternative areas where you can get water where you can get resources i was at the i was at a ranch store buying this water tank and i'm telling you i was thinking i was like have have these people seen my videos or they must just see the news like i see it they must just see what's going on but i was like have these people seen my videos because i saw at least three or four people checking out with generators getting generators all right and i was in and out of the store for a couple hours getting parts trying to get stuff to fit on my water tank to attach a hose to it and i saw multiple people three or four people at least getting generators all right people are seeing what's going on and people want to be prepared people want to be stocked up and be ready for what's coming next and they are giving us warning after warning after warning and that's why i feel like your best position is to be in a rural area, have some kind of land, even a quarter acre, you can grow a ton of food for your family. I started out on 5,000 square feet, 5,000 square feet and grew a huge garden in the background. That was massive and I watered it all by hand. I didn't have any irrigation system or anything. I just filled up a giant tote with water every day and then I watered it all by hand with a little hand water. All right, I've been doing this for almost a decade now and these skills are going to become more and more critical and more and more important and you need to be getting prepared so let's dive into this first warning we have three big things going on we have these sat phones being issued for a disruptive event i've seen a couple other channels cover this and this is extremely important we will get to that and we will break down the details of that because the details of it are very telling of what's coming next as well but we also have microsoft warning this just came out today wednesday warning that hackers are targeting us infrastructure and targeting the grid and targeting communication infrastructure actively right now we already saw dish network go down for months they're still having disruptions right now and they've lost over eighty thousand customers the past few months because people have just been quitting dish because they can't even access their accounts or get their service because their satellites have been locked out from a major cyber attack these situations are going to become a lot more frequent look at what happened in dallas texas major cyber attack look at what's happening in suffolk county new york one of the biggest counties this is right outside of new york city suffolk county new york millions of people live here in this county right outside new york county right outside new york city and passia county new york as well right outside new york county so suffolk county's over here passiac's right over here right outside new york as well and they've both been hit with cyber attacks suffolk county has declared their ninth state of emergency ninth state of emergency because this has been going on since september and people can't access their sewer bills 
They can't access their title searches for their property closings. They can't access their um, their records for recording closings and home closings. It's holding up a whole lot of listings. It's taking way more time to close on a house. And at first, this was even affecting police communication. So these things are happening with more frequency and we're gonna see it. We're gonna see a big one coming very soon. And Microsoft is even warning of it now because they are constantly scanning these key systems to see what's going on with them. So Microsoft warns that China hackers attacked US infrastructure and are currently attacking US infrastructure right now. So they said Chinese state-sponsored hackers have compromised, quote, critical cyber infrastructure in a variety of industries, including government and communication organizations, Microsoft said on Wednesday. The hacking group is called, quote, I don't, I don't even want to say their name, and has been in operation since 2021. Impacted parties have already been notified. Okay, this is major that this is happening. They're saying the attack is apparently ongoing. In an advisory, Microsoft urged impacted customers to, quote, close or change credentials for all compromised accounts. U.S. intelligence agencies became aware of the incursion in February around the same time that the spy balloon situation was going on. And it says they have focused on infiltrating communication infrastructure in the U.S., and particularly in parts of Guam as well, because that is the closest U.S. military base to China. And China is preparing for a massive Taiwan invasion. And the U.S. has even come and put out ideas saying that they will destroy chip manufacturing plants and facilities inside Taiwan if China decides to invade. So something big is going on. Also, Taiwan had their underwater cables cut. And I remember I made a video last week how NATO was coming out. Maybe it's two weeks ago now. NATO is warning that underwater communication cables will be cut very soon, especially in Europe and potentially even in the United States. And these 50 US senators were just issued a sat phone, a satellite phone that doesn't operate on these cables. They connect directly to satellites and they can operate when the towers are down or when the grid is down. But there are even weapons. China even has a quote satellite killer weapon that they've been working on as well. I reported on just a couple weeks ago. So these things are increasing in frequency and they even said infrastructure and in nearly every critical sector has been impacted microsoft said including the communications transport and maritime industries government organizations were also targeted if you remember i made a report in i believe it was february of this year of one of the largest logistics shipping mapping companies so they map out the shipping logistics for all these uh, shipping routes and everything and coordinate it for all the ships so they can pretty much just autopilot right to where they're going all right that's essentially the idea here they map out all the places they need to stop and their routes and this company is one of the biggest companies that operates european ships globally and they had a massive cyber attack and over a thousand ships were just stuck out in the sea because their mapping systems were disrupted from this cyber attack, all right? And they're saying maritime industries are being targeted as well. And that's where most of our goods come from. Most of our goods come from overseas and they are transported by ships. And if these ships, their systems are targeted, they could shut down the global supply chain with a major cyber attack. And I keep bringing this up. Look out for this to be in the news soon, all right? This is what this channel is about. It's just like getting you guys stuff early. Look at what happened, all right? I've been warning you guys, and then now bigger warnings are coming. Now U.S. senators have sat phones, all right? We're going to get to that in just a second. But be on the lookout for AI cyber attacks to be a thing where... AI becomes so advanced, it's creating its own code and its own languages that we cannot even understand and we cannot crack. And they are going to use these events to create internet IDs, 
to create central banking digital currencies, to create all of these dystopian things that they've been trying to push, but they need a disruptive event. We're gonna get to that right now to really push the narrative, all right? It's problem, reaction, solution. They need a problem, they need the reaction. People beg for the government to do something or something to happen, all right? We need a solution because now our critical infrastructure has been disrupted. The solution is going to be everything's tracked and traced and everything is federalized, including your banks. We could see major cyber attacks on the banking sector as well. Look at all these disruptions with the banks that are failing and there have been major glitches at all these banks as well wells fargo had glitches bank of america had glitches and people's funds were missing and people's deposits were missing all right so let's get into what's happening with these senators and then we will get into this other warning that the government is issuing as well so you can see here senators issued satellite phones offered demonstrations on upgraded security devices amid growing concerns of security risk to members of congress more than 50 senators have been issued satellite phones for emergency communications and they are saying that they are being prepared for a disruptive event and it was offered to all 100 senators but only over 50 took it it said in testimony the senate appropriations committee last month the senate sergeant at arms karen gibson said satellite communication is being deployed to quote ensure a redundant and secure means of communication during a quote disruptive event quote disruptive event that is what they are getting prepared for that's what the government is getting prepared for and they know that this cyber war could really kick off. This article also goes on to say, this is out of CBS News, by the way. It's always mainstream news just coming out and telling us to our faces what's happening. And it's up to you to get prepared. These warnings are right here and it's mainstream news. It's not some crazy website and it's up to you. Are you gonna listen? Are you gonna get prepared? Are you going to get in the country, get away from these cities? Because the blackouts are going to be worse there. The social unrest is going to be worse there. The rioting is going to be worse there. The civil decay is going to be worse there and more concentrated there as well. All right, they also said, Gibson said, the phones are a security backup in case of an emergency that, quote, takes out communications in parts of America. Federal funding will pay for the satellite airtime needed to utilize the phone devices. A Homeland Security advisory said satellite phones are a tool for responding to and coordinating services in case of a, quote, man-made or natural disaster that wipes out communication. All right, so man-made or natural disaster, and they are saying takes out communication in parts of an, of America from an emergency. All right, so I always get these people. It's like this guy's this guy's always saying it's an emergency. He's always giving an emergency warning. It's like that's that's the point. I'm giving you the emergency warning that they are talking about, that the elites are talking about. All right, at Bilderberg, they were they had a meeting and. They, they just met this week, a new Bilderberg meeting, and the whole thing was AI. All they're talking about is AI and how disruptive AI is and how AI is going to create all of these problems and what are they gonna do? And that's why I keep bringing up AI in the aspect of these cyber attacks because it's just a, it's not really what people are thinking about right now. People are thinking about AI as a chat tool or as a, threat to jobs which are definitely real things but ai can also be used for very malicious acts as well and at this group this meeting that they're having they're always having these meetings these world meetings all these big actors these state government actors these heads of agencies these heads of the ceos heads of whatever heads of state come in from all over the place all over the world and they meet at these meetings and they're having one right now and they are very concerned about AI. They're concerned about it. 
when they are the ones unleashing this AI onto the public. And it's going to make cyber attacks even worse, ransomware attacks even worse, and these cyber incidents are going to increase because this technology has now been released into bad actors hands okay and this is what could actually happen this is why i'm so keen on these blackouts and things because it's not just oh the power's out the internet's down you can't go on youtube you can't watch me or whatever all right that's that's just the tip of the iceberg this is what really happens and this is what's what would continue to happen if the grid goes if the grid went down all right they've had congressional reports of north korea doing an EMP over St. Louis, Missouri, and that would wipe out the grid. And they are saying 90% of the US population would not make it within the first year. This is a congressional report from our own government that they released a few years ago. I believe it was 2017 they released this report saying 90% of people wouldn't make it if the grid got shut down from a electromagnetic pulse event which is essentially a nuclear device being detonated in the atmosphere these are real things and these blackouts are real too they can simulate these exact events and these auroras are real too these cmes these coronal mass ejections from the sun are real too and harp is real too all these things which can create artificial auroral which can wipe out the grid and this is real too Th look at this study this is coming out of the new york times and business insider mainstream news again they're telling us what's coming next so they posted all these articles saying hey blackouts are coming and now they post this article just today too so half of phoenix arizona they're telling us half of phoenix arizona would end up in the er if the city has a blackout during a heat wave study finds so they're saying over eight hundred thousand people would be having heat strokes tens of thousands of people would not make it would go from that situation in phoenix arizona if there was a blackout from a heat wave and that's because the heat would be so intense people would not make it all right so they are warning us what's coming next it's more than just you can't get on the internet you can't get on facebook or instagram or twitter or whatever it's bigger than just that people will not make it if there are major rolling blackouts in the summer and especially down south like texas they keep warning texas is going to get hit hard this summer and now they're saying phoenix arizona as well california was on that list the carolinas was were on that list tennessee was on that list a lot of states where it gets very hot are on the list for rolling blackouts and now they're saying half of phoenix arizona could be in the emergency room if there are rolling blackouts this summer and this is days after they're saying rolling blackouts are coming baby they're coming get ready so you guys need to be getting prepared you need to have a generator i'm telling you i saw three or four different people checking out getting generators walk around with generators in their cart at the tractor supply the rural store it's not called tractor supply out here but the rural store out here all right i saw people buying generators so people know what's going on people are getting prepared you should be getting prepared too i got water i got a water tank back here right now completely full we're gonna keep it topped off keep our multiple tanks topped off filled with water keep our gas tanks topped off filled with gas because these things could happen suddenly we could just wake up and there was a major cyber attack on the on the electric on duke energy right i was thinking of the company down there duke energy duke energy could have a major cyber attack supplies energy to multiple states down there in the southeast and they could just be out they could be out and they could just be like we don't know when it's coming back on we don't know when the power's back and they could even disrupt all of their billing, all their accounts. So they would have to rebuild all their infrastructure. This is what's happening to a lot of these cities is they're having to rebuild their entire infrastructure. But think about if it was tens of millions of people, tens of millions of customers, and they have to rebuild all of those accounts and get electricity back to all of these people. And what if this happens in the middle of summer when it could be a very dangerous situation, all right? So get prepared now, guys. Get a generator now. I feel like a generator salesman up here, but I there's no affiliate link, nothing like that. I don't have any affiliate to any generators and nothing like that. 
down there, all right? I just want people to be prepared. I want people to be ready. And I don't want this to happen like they're saying could happen in Phoenix, Arizona, all right? We got a whole tray of tomatoes going, big maters going. We got basil in there. We're clearing out sagebrush over here, right back here. Can't see it. We're clearing out a garden bed. We're gonna be direct seeding a bunch of stuff, all right? We are going in. We are growing food. I'm gonna get meat chicken soon. I already got egg layers. I'm gonna get some meat birds out here. We might get a cow in the next couple months. All these things are on the table and I feel the urgency to get prepared, get ready. So please hit it up down there for me. If you like this video, if you wanna get more of this stuff, keeping you updated on the news of the big stuff going on and just keeping you motivated too, telling you guys what I'm doing to get ready. Cause I'm, I'm, I for real am into this stuff, right? I for real believe this. I'm out here with my family. I got a wife, I got a one-year-old and a three-year-old out here and we are completely off grid and we are building our homestead as we go, all right? So this is the real deal. I believe this stuff, it's going down guys and you need to start doing something, all right? You need to just buy a 20 pound bag of rice. You need to buy some canned food. You need to buy a water tank, uh, something, fill it up with water. Uh, start filling up water jugs. That's what I used to do when I had a really small home. I would fill up every gallon water jug. I would just drink gallon water. Every gallon water I would fill up, I would, or that I would empty, I would fill it back up and save it, all right? Just so I have water, just in case it gets turned off or there's a cyber attack. We had a, we had a top EPA official warning of cyber attacks on our waterway systems and even poisoning of our waterway systems through cyber attacks by adding uh, excess amounts of chemicals that can hurt you, all right? Because they put all these chemicals into our water, but if they add too much, it can really hurt you, like instantly hurt you, all right? Some of them even can make you go blind, like lye, sodium, hydroxide, these things like this that they put in the water. So make sure you are getting prepared, make sure you're getting stocked up, and just little by little every day, I feel overwhelmed out here. I have a hundred different projects. I have a massive list of things to do, but it's day by day, it's day by day, all right? It took me a whole day just to get a, just to get some water tanks, and then it took a whole nother day to get it hooked up and to get it finalized and everything like that. So it takes time and it just it's just one day at a time, guys. So get prepared, start working towards it. Hit it up down there for me. It really helps get this video out there and it helps so more people see to get prepared and to get ready. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have big blessings in your life and I hope you have big, and I hope you have a big old blessed day.